the objective of this lecture is to continue with our link and at the end of this lecture you will be able to tell what is a model how to fill a generic list and how to use order by clause against a list we shall do all this using entity model frame entity model we shall fill a complex list and execute an order by query against it so we'll start it this way let me revise what we did the last time we created a home controller and inside the home controller we had an index action which returned get data get data was a function that returned a string we had this query uh, we, we had this data source then we had this query then it was executed a string builder was filled and a string returned to the index which was finally displayed on the screen today we shall instead of acting on a string array we shall act on a model a list consisting of model objects so let us first of all try to understand what is a model model is any c sharp class that consists of related properties the properties are related for example i can have a class c student data this class can contain properties which are related to student data one property could be like uh, these are all public i'm writing p here public string name get set so you might not be knowing this and in case you don't know this then i'll tell you this one this is public the visibility of this property is public i have just abbreviated it for p dot otherwise it is complete public here the type of the property is string the name of the property is name and there is a shorthand notation curly brace curly brace get semicolon set semicolon this means that this property is read and write many people do not write this one they simply write property like this public string name and semicolon in some scenarios this works but this horribly fails in certain cases and you cannot even know the reason for this failure very subtle bugs they arise because people simply skip this get set always be in a habit of putting a property with get set and make it public don't forget this people forget this also and then they don't find it in the intellisense so c student data is a model class if it contains only properties that are related to this concept another property could be like public string roll number again get set marks in maths marks in physics so all these related properties when put in a class 